Number nine, persuade with power. And the objectives are to persuade listeners to adopt your viewpoint or ideas or to take some action. To appeal to the audience's interests, <coughs> excuse me, to use logic and emotion to support your position and to avoid using notes. And the time is five to seven minutes. This is Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Gentlemen, there are only two people in this club who've actually had the guts to redo the first 10 speeches that I know of. They got it right the first time, but they wanted to, wanted to redo it. Tony was one, and Bruno is another one. Let us welcome Bruno Schuster. Who else? Let us welcome Bruno Schuster to speak to the title Servant of Servants. Bruno Schuster. Mr. Toastmaster. Why is there a need for leadership today? Are there problems in the world? Is there something that is unjust? Or could there possibly be a problem to solve? Well, that's exactly what leadership is all about. It's recognizing that you need to step in to do something because nothing is going to happen on its own. So, people like Mohan, Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi. Everybody knows Gandhi from to get rid of the British rule of India for they ruled Britain for India for 200 years. He used non-violence as his way to change the course of India. Martin Luther King, basing his protest on non-violence, wanted to make a race-free United States, and that also changed the course of the United States. Of course, there was Abraham Lincoln way before both of these people who wanted to abolish slavery. However, he was a president of the United States. Other people like Mother Teresa, who through their moral conviction, need to do something about the poor in India. Then, of course, there are great generals from the Toastmasters manual. They talk about General Patton. Now, Toastmasters really wants you, as the average person, to actually make a difference through leadership. However, if you will, you, you will use people for in a unified purpose, just like these other leaders that I've explained, to achieve a certain goal. And I think when one thinks about leaders, the age-old question is, do they have something special about them? Now, the person who wrote the High Performance Manual, Dr. Warren Bennis says that today, in today's world, people are overmanaged and underled. And what he's actually trying to say is, have you ever heard of, and a manager led us through thick and thin? No, it was the leaders that captivated our imagination. Was it the manager that helped us achieve a goal? No, it was the leader who turned us to a better future and who recruited our energies so that we would all move together to change something. So, Toastmasters wants us, wants to develop leadership within us so that we can fulfill its mission, of which the main emphasis is on service. Most clubs, we serve one another. Now, in the High Performance <coughs> Leadership Manual, and as one goes through this process, one has to learn these techniques to find a better way of do so, doing something. You can create the change if you know how to influence people. And remember I asked, I posed the question, are leaders born? <coughs> or aren't they? Do they have something special? Well, as Mr. Blenis realized that the only thing that, for example, Winston Churchill or Abraham Lincoln had even though they had formal authority to do things in their countries, they actually knew how to influence people. So that is the key to why people became great leaders. Not because they followed some method, they knew how to influence people. So I think the difference between a manager who is unsuccessful and a leader who is, is, is successful is this what Toastmasters calls the informal authority and that is what the focus of the high performance leadership skill is trying to develop the un 
informal authority that you have to change something. And I think what they explain is that when you have high authority but no contact with the people below you, it's very seldom that people will follow you. However, if you have inf in informal authority, like Gandhi, he wasn't in charge of anything, the British were ruling India, yet he practiced what he preached, meaning that the people started to trust him because he actually lived through what he was trying to change. Now, what Toastmasters calls this kind of leadership is called the, the service leadership. And that comes from the, the Latin service servorum, which is one of the emblems that the Pope has. And that means the servant of servants. And what this means is that today, and in Toastmasters, we need to build a relationship with people in order to get them to follow you in the objectives that you have set out. So, it's no use saying, ooh, but I think most of us know in, in the Toastmasters organization that it's, it's a, it's a, it's a bottom-up organization, whereas we all help each other to achieve the goals, be it at club level, at area level, or even at district level. And so, the service leader does not command and rule. This, we have one of our members who was the district, um, the division the government. So, he makes decisions, however, it's in order to help those who are achieving his goal. And in and emphasizing that the contribution of everybody to achieve that goal is the most important thing. So that's contrary to what one has with a manager. The manager wants, wants to achieve goals, but maybe he doesn't have a relationship with the people, so he doesn't maybe understand, and that's what maybe when an unsuccessful manager doesn't achieve his goals. However, a leader can be a manager, and I think to sum it up, a leader, a leader wants to empower people to put the people above his own power. He wants contribution above his own ego. And he will support the needs of the team and not take the credit for the result. Because a good service leader is the one who uses these various techniques which are outlined in the High Performance Leadership Manual, of which I've given <coughs> many talks tonight. So I ask you, forum members, help me, enable us to get me through this high-performance leadership, and I think that by the end of the, this Toastmaster year, you will see some progress in my leadership <coughs> skills and abilities, Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you very much, Bruno, for some fresh